Welcome to the Plastic Product Design and Advanced Katia. We have discussed in the last video about introduction to the Katia tool. In last video, we discuss about the course content, then introduction to the Katia tool, introduction to the Katia tool and software overview and its applications, then user interference in a Katia, then manipulation in a Katia like pan, how we can rotate, zoom in, zoom out, drag and use of a compass then other important commands like uh, copy paste undo hide and show update then also we discussed an importance of a product structure tree then planes axis system part history and common control an important toolbars in the sketcher in which we familiar about how to enter in the sketcher then exist from the sketcher then how we can uh, create the geometries in the sketcher and in which we uh, discussed uh, actual practice on a profile toolbar. So in the today's video, we are going to cover the remaining toolbars of the sketcher that is the operation toolbar, constraint toolbar, uh, then uh, tool toolbar, then snap to point, construction geometry, then constraint, over constraint, under constraint concept. So here we are going to see the operation toolbar, how it works and different commands in the operation toolbar in the detail. So let's open the Katia. So let's enter in the sketcher toolbar. How we can enter? Just you have to uh, select the or you click on the sketcher icon, select the plane and you will uh, enter in the sketcher toolbar. Now in the last video we discuss about the profile toolbar in which uh, the profile then circle, a rectangle then circle then spline, ellipse, a different type of a line then axis and how we can create the points we already discussed and uh, get a practical uh, use and uh, how we can draw uh, as we saw in the last video. So today we will cover the operation toolbar here in which the first one that is the corner then uh, chamfer the next one that is the relimation toolbars in which the trim command erase command then break command are there then close arc and uh, complement uh, the next that is the transformation toolbar uh, and another one is a geometry 3d element uh, project 3d elements so uh, let's uh, recap the profile toolbar and also we can use uh, we can draw one first, uh, we will draw firstly uh, one profile and uh, uh, we will implement all this operation toolbar in, the, in that. So I will just draw a basic profile here. As you can also do the practice uh, continuously as per the as per the video we are going to cover here. So I will try to use uh, most of all profiles that uh, we saw in the last video that we can make a practice there. So let's consider this, uh, this is the basic profile and uh, we are drawn with respect to the profiles, uh, profile geometries. So as we use the circle here, then uh, rectangle type here, then uh, profiles here, then ellipse, uh, sorry, spline there, uh, circle also there. But uh, uh, as we know that this is just uh, geometries, we need to, uh, so some geometries are need to be clear, some geometries we need to be delayed. Some geometries need to be uh, trim here so that uh, we are using the trim command here firstly uh, and also the uh, we will use the corner chamfer commands as we know that first one is the corner why we are we going to be use the corner for safety purpose um, uh, whenever there is a sharp edge we are applying the corner over there so just double click on that you can give the required dimension for your corner similarly chamfer command is just similar just you have to select the first edge second edge select the chamfer command first edge second edge and here will be the chamfer so chamfer will be controlled by using the 
constraint like uh, length and required angle so i will just increase the length here okay. so now so this intersection i need to be clear so that first of all uh, we can see the trim command so for the trim command just select one edge and the last edge so you can see the other portion is get trimmed so now similarly i will use the trim command here now i need to be uh, erase this so i can use the erase command also now break command so break command just you have to select the line and uh, from which point you have to break so you can see there are the two different lines so next one that is the close uh, arc as we uh, as we can see here there is only semicircle arc or a, uh, there is arc so just you when you are clicking uh, by using the close arc command just you have to click the arc will get the clo closed here so again i will use the trim command here okay so uh, this will be the relimation toolbar in which we cover the trim break then quick trim then close arc and this will we, we will see this one also complement so by using this command so whenever there is a profile like this when you are using this command then it will be gives the uh, relation or a complement between the two profiles so i will just delete this one so here we completed this toolbar now let's see the transformation toolbar so in which first one that is the mirror as very simple uh, meaning it has whenever you want to mirror one thing against uh, the axis line you can use this command just select the geometry select the uh, mirror command and uh, uh, give the required axis to be mirror here so you can see the axis will be created and this profile get mirror against this axis let's see the dimensions so this is the constraint command so we can see is that it has a equal dimension or not so you can see the equal dimensions now let's see the next one that is the symmetry command symmetry command is just like a mirror but the previous one get erased here so you can see the symmetry next one that is the trans translate command so in which you have to whenever you are selecting the translation command the pop up is came in front of you in which first that is the instant so i need to uh, translate this circle with respect to the five of uh, instant so if i want to uh duplicate first one then you have to uh, select this action as on and if if you want to erase the duplicate one that is the original one then you can uh, just uh, off of this option so now uh, just you have to select the uh, your entity or a, your geometry then you have to select the point from which you are going to be translate here and then you can see the five different type of a uh, translations of your circle but here we can give the desired value 25 mm now you have to give the just direction in which you have to be translate so this will be the translate command so now again i will uh, just uh, remembering one mirror command here so for the mirror command i have to select the geometry and the required axis line where we have to be mirror
so next one that is the rotate command so for the rotate command i will draw one circle here and again i will draw one circle here so for the rotate command just i have to select the uh, rotate command then similarly the pop up it came so i need to be give the instance i will give the 12 instance and then i have to select this uh, point from where we are going to be rotate and giving the angle 30 degree you can see the rotation so such whenever there is a number of a similar geometry we are using we will use the rotate translate command so now let's see the scale firstly i will select the profile then i will select the scale command whenever we uh, whenever there is the uh, you, whenever you are selecting the scale command similar pop up will came select the first point and select the next point so this will be the scale command and last one that is the offset command so again similarly you have to select the profile so i will select this profile using the offset just you have to give the information uh, or a dimensions from where we have to offset i will give the 50 mm so you can see this offset will be done by the 50 mm so guys today we covered uh, total operation toolbar in which first one that is the corner next one chamfer uh, then trim command break command quick trim then close uh, uh, r command and uh, mirror command symmetrical command then uh, translation rotate scale and offset now there is a one question in your mind i know that whenever we uh, draw one profile how we can give the dimension to them so that is the constraint toolbar so let's draw one profile here so consider this will be the profile and i need to be give the dimensions so select the constraint tool and select the dimension I, I, I if you want to give the dimension to this length you can uh, just uh, select that after then just double click on that dimensions and uh, re-enter whatever the value you need similarly i will give the dimension for the center point then uh, if you select to the circle then you can enter the diameter of that circle so now you can see so um, at this condition there are some green lines you can see the green lines and some are a white lines whenever i give the dimensions remaining dimensions so now the all the dimensions for the for this profile get completed so that this profile it get converted into the iso constraint but whenever there should be uh, any over dimensions there then the profile get converted its uh, color into the pink color so uh, this pink color indicate that the extra dimensions given by you that's why you have to delete uh, respect to dimension and then again we will came uh, from uh, over constraint to the iso constraint and uh, under constraint it means some dimensions are missing that's why the white color the geometry of your um, uh, entity get converted into the white color so there are a three different type of a constraint as we discussed first one is the over constraint 
second one is a iso constraint and third one is a uh, just simple under constraint under constraint has a color of a white over constraint has a color of a pink and green that is the green signal it means you are in a iso constraint from where we can see this just you have to go uh, this uh, indicator type uh, signal type uh, command just you have to select that so now you can see here the uh, the profile is under the under constraint here so now let's change uh, we will give the dimensions here so now let's see the indicator now we can see the iso constraint here now let's see how the extra dimension will implement so over constraint so uh, you have to work in a iso constraint only so guys today we see the profile toolbar operation toolbar and constraint toolbar okay so here we are going to conclude our video in the next video we will go through the tutorial for the sketcher uh, 2d designing guys if you are not subscribe our youtube channel please subscribe be connected with us that we can share more and more technical knowledge about plastic product design and advanced katia please hit the bell icon and share in your friends thank you guys